The Hutton's shearwaters are much loved here in Kaikoura. With only two breeding colonies left in the Kaikoura Mountains, an ambitious project has been undertaken to start a new colony here on the Kaikoura Peninsula. With huge community support, fundraising, predator control and hungry chicks to feed, it's been no small task. What work have you done here at the colony? Uh, we brought down nearly 100 chicks in the first year, uh, nearly 300 all up over, over the four years. They were fed each day until they decided to take off. They were fed a cocktail of sardines and water, a uh, sardine smoothie. So yes, they were looked at every day uh, once they were down here until they, they flew. So we had a large crew of volunteers, uh, locals, and some from as far away as Christchurch and Blenheim down here helping is when you've got to feed a hundred chicks. It does take a, a bit of time. So when the chicks leave here, how long before they come back? The first ones were coming back just over three years. And how many birds are here this year? There are two breeding pairs, but there are scattered through this area up here, there are quite a few more birds, which are probably the last year's tr translocations, which are coming back for the first time. How did the Rūnanga become involved with the colony? Well, we had um, discussions with the Department of Conservation and Whale Watch and talked about creating a colony here on Kaikoura Peninsula. And we were really fortunate and grateful to Whale Watch who donated the land for us to have the site here. What's the relationship between the Rūnanga and the Hutton's Shearwaters? Well, it's a very special relationship that we have and our oral histories tell us that Rakai Hotu uh, came to, uh, landed in Nelson and he went through the South Islands creating all the lakes and rivers and his son was Rakihauia. Now Rakihauia brought the canoe Uruo down the east coast of the South Island and he um, spent some time off Kaikoura here and the story goes that he observed the frenzy of the feeding titi out on the ocean and watched the migration patterns of the birds flying from the mountains to the sea. And at that time his wife was pregnant and she was craving for some delicious eggs. So he sent his party of men out and in due course they came and bought some lovely titi and eggs. So the name of that, the Kaikoura Seaward Rangers is Kafatatu or Rakihauia, which means the standing stores of Rakihauia. So it's a direct whakapapa link for us and really important. In a community crazy about shearwaters, only time will tell if this mission has been successful. Each spring, all eyes will be on the sea awaiting the return of this Taonga to their new home.